Good evening everyone, welcome to Finu Classes. So now we are going to start up with valuation of forwards and futures. So just I am going with examination series which is very much useful to you all now as shortly the exams are going to start. So before going to the valuation, we need to understand the concept of compounding and valuation of continuous compounding and number of files compounding. So, just go with this. Suppose that an amount A is invested for n years at an interest rate of R per annum. If the rate is compounded once per annum, the terminal value of the investment is. That is, A amount ni invest chese at a rate of R for n number of years. Apro dani value at the 2 years, at the 2 years, 3 years, at the 3 years, 10 years, at the 10 years. Then, what is the value of this investment after at a particular given period of time and at a given rate of interest? Then this is called as the terminal value and this is your invested value. So this is the formula which we will use. And the usual time value of money compounding choose now for future value calculation lo one time investment ki use chese formula idi manaki. So, dini okwela number of times compounding jaragite. Atta this is per annum compounding jaragindi. Instead of that, at the usual ga bankers manaki half yearly interest payments ane di chese karu. Ala ga kunda yedana manaki quarterly payments jaragina kani, monthly payments jaragina, daily payments jaragina. Then how we are going to refine this formula and check it out. Shoot down again. Here is the concept. If the rate is compounded m times per annum, then the terminal value of the investment is after all the calculations are known as a manan chase na investment at a given rate of interest and number of times compounding to the power number of times compounding. So, after formula m out on the end, f is equals to n to 1 plus r by m to the power m n. So, then clearly understand chase code and key. Kind of pasari. Chudha. Compounded half yearly. If we have a question or rate, and we have a chase investment, we have a question of interest, rate of return, we have a price, and we have a chase term on the key. a into 1 plus r by 2. And then, we have a 10% for annum it. 6 months ay kaabatti man ke end of the month ten lo half that is 5% that is the reason r by 2 and man ke any times of the month year no twice 2 times kaabatti here m indicates 2 in the same way if compounded quarterly interest ane di man ke every quarter man receive chees kunte apur man invested value ane di and the man ke rate of return 10% ante every quarter lo dan lo fourth that is 0.25%. That is 2.5%. So that's how manamu 4 times R by 4 and we put now. Alaga any times of the manaki 4 times of the we made it as 4 n. So number of times. That's the reason we say that based upon the number of times compounding, compounding twice jaru tuna, 4 times jaru tuna, 12 times jaru tuna, 365. Days Jarutuna, any times Jarutuni and Adani days just for me, but a formula and a day, Allah, that's the reason it is F is equals to, or the terminal value is equals to invested amount into 1 plus R by M. M means number of times compounding. Half year later, 2 times compounding, quarter later, 4 times compounding, monthly later, 12 times compounding, and daily later, 365 times compounding. So, this is how we will calculate number of times compounding rate. Then the exponential method lo ganaka manam chappali anam kunte. Then f is equals to a into e to the power of r c comma n. So e ane the exponential term. Why? Because especially when it comes to international markets and derivatives market, compounding ane the chala fast ga jalo gudundi. Across the globe. 24 hours, so much or so much or so much or so much markets open on a moon tie hour every second, every minute. Okay, there is a lot of fluctuation in the futures and forwards market. 
So that is the reason we use F equals to N to the power of RC. RC indicates continuous rate of interest. Rm is the number of times compounding. Right? RC is the continuous compounding. So this is the base for your calculation of futures and options. So we have futures forwards valuation. So this is the basic concept which we are going to use extensively. So we need to keep this in mind. Thank you.